Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Furutech. I am using the Evolution X XYZ 9.0 build from the last one month on my OnePlus 6. And it's truly amazing ROM. Previously, I tried the Infinity X 1.1 version. But still, both of these ROMs has some cons like Infinity didn't have the Oxonus camera and some minor bugs are there. While Evolution X for the OnePlus 6 is an official build, developer of that build supports the ROM regularly but still sometimes updates are infrequent. So today I got something where you can settle down your OnePlus 6 and 60. This is the newest build of dynamic custom ROM CR.10.6 by the developer Terminator J, which has lots of the things that we are going to discuss in this video if I really want to get settled down permanently. If you are bored of flashing stuffs again and again, so please watch this video till the end to check my final verdict. Now with the further delay, let's get started. It's a new Let's start with the flashing of this retrofit dynamic custom ROM. Your device must be on the dynamic system. If your first time flashing any custom ROM or flashing this retrofit custom ROM, please check links of video tutorial available under the video description. Just replace the files of those videos with the files given under this video description. But I am already using the dynamic Evolution X, so boot your device directly to the fast boot, connect it to the PC. You just need the three files. First one is the CR Droid custom ROM, Nick GFs package, as the ROM didn't come with the GFs and the recovery image of CR Droid. First type the fastboot devices if device properly detected. Next type fastboot boot and drag the boot image in the CMD and hit enter. This will boot your device into the CR Droid recovery. Please note that if you are using the Evolution X retrofit ROM, you can skip this step and can directly boot your device into the Evolution X recovery and follow the next steps. Now in the recovery, select Apply Update, select Apply Update from the ADB. Now in the CMD, type ADB side load and drag the ROM zip file in the CMD. While flashing the ROM, you will get a notification like, do you want to flash anything? Select yes or no. Here tap yes. Then again tap Apply Update from the ADB and then do the ADB side load of the GApps package in the CMD and hit enter. Once everything gets done, then tap reboot to recovery. Tap factory reset and select tap format data. Next select reboot to system. That's it, your device should boot into the new CR Droid boot and mission. So first we will check out why I am recommending this ROM to settle down for your OnePlus 6. It's up to date ROM as compared to any other ROM. It based on the latest 114 release candidate 53 QPR3 sources by the Lineage OS ROM. Lineage OS is the source base of this ROM. Developer Terminator J releases monthly updates and you got this latest build on the 4th August. It's the same 114 based ROM with the CR Droid version 10.6 and Android security patches of latest July 2024. ROM comes with the latest Linux kernel version 4.9.337 build with the latest Clang toolchain 19. Speciality of this ROM, you can able to flash separate CR Droid++ kernel which has kernel SU and the GPU overclocking support that we will discuss in the another video. Build date of this ROM is the 1st August 2024. Build number is the next one. While we already got the next two version or release on the 9th August. So what are the next one and next two that we will discuss under the update section of this video. Next big thing is that every build of this ROM comes with the inbuilt Oxonos camera. It has fully functional Oxonos camera having working slow motion video recording. Best quality pictures both for the night and the normal modes with the portrait shots for the main and selfie camera. Working 4K 60fps recording which is not even possible on my latest devices like Nord 2, nothing phone 1. Other features like expert mode, time lapse, panorama mode, all these advanced features are working. We also get the latest Oxonos gallery inbuilt in this ROM. Now let's move to the next part of customizations. Most of user wants the customization. CR Droid is actually highly customizable version of Lineage OS. Who gets the dedicated CR Droid setting? Everything is available here, but especially I like these things. First one is the header images for the QS panel. It gives the amazing look to the QS panel. 
Second is the new ambient display with the different lock screen clocks. Who oh, guess the bunch of the different option here how to wake the ambient display without using always on mode continuously. Third one is you can able to use any application in a full screen mode. Using this setting you can use any third party application which didn't suppose the not screen who can enable it using this one. Next is the smart pixel which helps to save the battery in the emergency situations for the longer duration by shutting off the pixels of the display. Dynamic island notification is similar to the iOS style notifications and it's available and working. Next is the gaming mode. It has lots of the features to improve your gaming experience. Especially you get the battery, standard and performance mode for the gaming applications. You can use the new third party angle GPU drivers but I didn't recommend to use this. Unlock higher FPS will help you to play game at the higher FPS that OnePlus 6 display supports that we will discuss in the gaming part of this video. Except this Netflix spoofing, unlimited photo backup for the Google Photos and many more features are available under the miscellaneous setting. The list is too long, you can check them once you got this ROM installed. That's why I discuss only few features here. Next most important feature is the OnePlus X Touch. Here all OnePlus specific advanced features like alert slider, toggle customizations are available. The most important feature that is the Adreno GPU boost slider helps to boost the GPU performance for the gaming. Higher brightness mode with the manual control is available here. It's specially useful while playing the game. Next you can gain the earpiece and the microphone audio using these sliders. We can change the vibration haptic feedbacks using this slider separately for the system, call strength, notification strength, etc. So in terms of all the basic customization, this ROM is customization hub, but don't accept some more funky customizations like depth wallpaper, always on display, wallpaper customization type features in this ROM. The next thing I like it about this year it builds, the developer given the regular OT updates for this build by OT updater from the long time. Project never got suspended or renewed like what happened for the superior OS which was stopped and later got renewed into the Infinity X. This is a single project developer is running. They released the builds like next one, next two. These are the test build and once all bugs get fixed, who gets the direct OT updates with the proper change log that you can flash manually or by using the OT updater. So what about the performance? I will not going to show you the all the test results of the Geekbench and to blah blah and blah. In the single word, this is the buttery smooth for your eyes and the fingers. Don't worry about the performance, everything is blazing fast. Vibration haptics of this ROM also seems better than before for me. So everything we discussed until now, but if you are a gaming freak and still using the OnePlus 6 as a gaming device, then don't worry. You can play the BGM like games better than the latest new phones because you get the Adreno GPU boost which helps to improve the GPU performance for every single touch on the display. High brightness mode helps you to detect the enemies easily in the games. Gaming mode offers you the performance optimization for the better gaming experience. Game dashboard options gives option to keep the screen stay awake, disabling the screen gestures to avoid the missed screen touch prevention. Done Mac notification to avoid the gaming interferences. Unlock higher FPS toggle actually working. It enables the smooth and extreme plus FPS in the games, which gives the constant 60 FPS for the gaming in the OnePlus 6. Using all these things, I can say I really enjoyed the whole BGMA gameplay even after the 7 years in this device. It's not lagging behind in any segment of the gaming as compared to my OnePlus Nord 2, 9RT, nothing for one. In the next video, we will try the GPU OC kernel and we will separately test the gaming experience. So final question all you ask will be what are the bugs in the ROM. As this is the test one build I installed, the major issue I found is the USB transfer or any other transfer feature is not working. Even the developer has added one interesting feature that is using the device as the webcam for the PC but it is also not working here. Except this, no issues in the ROM. Soon this will be fixed, I didn't test this issue in the latest test to release on the 9th August. So if you have installed the 9th August build then please let us know in the comment is it fixed or not. 
Once you get the stable build within few days, I can say if you want to settle down on something solid option, then this ROM is better choice for you. Because of its regular updates, solid, stable performance, gaming oriented kernel and the features trusted source base of lineage ROM. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. Soonest time. Take care.